What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an amazing team to showcase for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Kyogre Rain team alongside with Life Orb Tornadas. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But getting started with this team, in that top left corner, we have Ndidi over here with Psychic Surge ability and a Psychic Seed to get that defense boost, or is it special defense boost? It's one of them. We get a nice little boost from him, and this thing has a moveset of Protect, Psychic for Stab, Follow Me, and Helping Hand. He's just kind of there to be a support mod and help out ally Pokemon. Right next to him is a very strong, heavy-hitting physical attacker, which is Urshifu. Has Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protect. Choice Ban as items, so we can choice into one move and one move only and do massive damage with it. Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and Poison Jab for the moveset. Middle left, we have Regilecki. This Pokemon is still top tier in this series. It has Transistor Ability, Focus Ash as his item, Protect, Volt Switch, Thunder, and E-Web for his moveset. Right next to him is the heart and soul of this team, and that is going to be Kai Ogre. He is going to be our one restricted mod that we allow on the team, because that is just Series 10 rule set. Drizzle as his ability, so we can set rain once he hops into battle. Mystic Water to make our water stab moves do more damage. Protect, Water Spout, Ice Beam, and Scald for that amazing moveset for this Pokemon. I think like we're going to be able to lead him and get him in battles and just wipe out teams left and right with this guy. Bottom left, we have Kartana. Beast Boost ability, Assault Vest as his item so we can soak up some special attack shots. And then this awesome moveset of Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Smart Strike, and Night Slash for our coverage move. Final Pokemon is Tornadus, and I'm actually loving this moveset on this Tornadus. This is perfect for Series 10, considering there is no Dynamax allowed. It has Prankster ability, Life Orb as its item. Usually when you pair up a Tornadus with a Kyogre, it's usually holding like Focus Ash or Berry and just sitting there as support and uh, having Rain Dance on it so it can keep getting Rain out for Kyogre. But this one's here to support and attack at the same time. It has Taunt and Tailwind for Speed Boost and Taunt for the support mods, and then it has Icy Wind for Speed Control and Hurricane for big stab damage in that rain. But guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that rank double ladder and try to get some wins with this Series 10 Kyogre team. So this will actually be my first battle using the Series 10 rule set. As in the last video, we used a Series 10 team, but the rule set wasn't live. So today, it is August 1st by the time I'm recording this, it's going to be our first battle using this rule set. So I cannot wait to get after it. We're hopping into our first battle. Let's see how we do and let's see how we can start off this season. We're going up against a Calyrex team. Oh my god, Shadow Rider Calyrex. I did not miss you at all. This Pokemon is very dominant. Same thing with the Ice Rider Calyrex. He also has Indeedee, My Shell, Incineroar, Araquanid, and Mudsdale. Okay, I see you. I think Kyogre is just like a must. Must. Like, we, we have to go into him as a lead, right? Let's go Kyogre. I could also go in with Regilecki, or I could go Tornas to set up a Tailwind. But My Shell definitely is rocking Fake Out, right? I can totally see him rocking Fake Out. So, if I want to go Tornadus, or I can just go straight into... Hmm. Now let's go Tornadus. Because then Tornadus poses a huge threat. So let's rock out with that and go in with these two because these guys are just dominant. We're going to bring Urshifu in the back end and then final Pokemon. I'm thinking of just having Kartana. Because I can check that Mudzell really, really hard. And I just like having that. We have the Salt Fest as well. So we're going to bring him in there and try to rock out with the team and grab ourselves a win for our first battle for Series 10. But guys, let me know for question of the day. Do you think they should bring back Dynamax? You guys probably been playing the series a little bit more than me, and Dynamax has been a part of this game ever since it came out, and it makes Pokemon Sword and Shield Online Ranked Battles what it is, because it was such a huge way to play, and you can use it to your advantage and make strategies with it. So now that's not in the game, let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But he's going to go Incineroar and Arachnid, which is totally fine. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I'm going to go in with these two guys, and Intimidate is going to come out here, which is totally fine. We're all special attacking, and I wonder who he's going to fake out. This fake out is very, it probably got a, it got a silent buff because of this, because we can't Dynamax anymore. The Dynamax checks some fake out, so I could protect here. Hmm. But I'm thinking of just dropping a water spout here, right? Just water spout and maybe just hurricaning? Into the Raquinid? Let's just double up. Because both of my Pokemon should outspeed this guy all day, and then eventually we can go for a Tailwind, and we can do all that. Let's just see his play first and foremost. Fake Out's going to come through here, and he's going to go after my Kyogre. So I was thinking to protect him. That would have been a play. But Hurricane's 100%. It's Life Orb damage, and it's just going to dump on the rack with it. No problem whatsoever. That's a huge turn for us. That is a huge start for Series 10. This is why 
I was like, I'm gonna like this uh, Tornadus. It's Life Orb, Hurricane hits 100% of the time, it's big damage, it's stab on top, it's just getting so many boosts from it. But he's gonna go in with Calyrex here, which, yo, I'm totally fine with. You cannot Dynamax Calyrex. That's why I think Kyogre might be one of the best in here, because there's no Dynamax, and nothing can really stop him. So now I can just drop a free Water Spell and Tailwind, just to make sure we get that speed advantage, and rock out from there. Let's see this. Let's see how this one plays out. Because we have Rain... You cannot change weather anymore unless you have somebody who can change weather. He's going to end up going into Indeedy, which is totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. The second search is going to pop out here, and is somebody holding seeds on their team? Maybe Calyrex? Maybe Indeedy? We shall see. We shall see. Indeedy does have the seeds, which will give it a special defense boost, right? Yep, special defense boost is going to pop. We're going to be able to get off Tailwind and take speed for most of this game, which is wonderful. And how much damage are we going to do up against this Calyrex? That could be pretty big. Water spell comes through, and we just dump on it, yo. We tell it to get out of our faces, dude. That is insane. The damage is insane. Like, this match is over. I think they need to put Dynamax back in this game, because this is just broken right here. Because taking out Dynamax is another way that you cannot change up weather, which is basically giving Kyogre a boost or weather teams a boost. Bro, this, this is insane. It's going to be over. It's going to be over. I outspeed. He's going to fake me out. You can fake it. If you don't fake out my Kyogre. Ready? If he doesn't fake out my Kyogre, my Ky Kyogre picks up a double kill. But if he fakes out my Kyogre, we outspeed. It's 100%ing hit it on this Indeedee, and Indeedee's dead. Then we just water spout next turn. Fake out comes through, and they're psychic terrain anyway. Hurricane comes through. That's GG's. That's GG's. It is over with. Get this guy out my face. Clean sweep with Kyogre and Tornadus. And guys, I'm not going to lie. This is kind of broken. This was might have been the easiest match I ever had. I'm not even joking with you. Taking out Dynamax might have been a big fault in Pokemon Sword and Shield's hands. But let's hop into our second battle and look to go back to back to get the Series 10 started off strong. Battle number two coming at you guys going up against a Xerneas team. And this is another Pokemon that I absolutely love and I cannot wait to show off for Series 10. He also has Regilecki, Amoongus, Volcarona, Urshifu, and Incineroar for that Intimidate drop. Um, how should I play this one? I feel like he is going to lead Regilecki to check my Kyogre. But at the same time, I feel like I can lead him. I feel like I can lead the Regilecki and just protect and go for maybe like an E-Web. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What does Jeans want to do? I could go Tornadus. Nah, because then Regilecki checks both of them. So I might go both of these. And see how we can roll out from there. But then if he leads a Moogus, that kind of checks that. So that's a little tough. I do have Ice Beam. Hmm. What do I want to do? I'm thinking of leading both of these guys. What do I want to do here? Nah, I'm th I don't think that's a play. We definitely want to lead our Regilecki, try to get after it that way. I might end up leading Urshifu. What do I want to do? Actually, I'm going to lead the Urshifu. Uh, see what we can do with him, see if we can get some damage off. Uh, let's go Tornadus, Kyogre, and go uh, Regilecki in the back. Let's finish off with Regilecki. I'm digging that. I was going to go Kartana, but then I was like, he has two fire Pokemon. Looking a little tough for us, but let's rock out. Try to get ourselves a win in battle number two. I really want to lead uh, Kyogre here, but again, I think he's leading Regilecki. But my thought proposition was going to be going to Regilecki and Kyogre, protect Kyogre, E-Web, slow him down, and maybe try to get Kyogre to outspeed. But we'll see how this one goes down. Is he going to lead the Regilecki? He does. He goes to Regilecki and Amoongus. He plays it safe with both of them. The Tornadus and Amoongus does come out here, which is wonderful. I can try to hit up a... Uh, I can try to hit up a Sucker Punch. That'll be my choice move. That'll, that'll be a problem. I can definitely see this thing being Sash, but I definitely want to go into that. And, hmm, what do I want to do here? I want to try to go for a Hurricane. I really do. But we know he's going to go for Electric Move. I know for a fact he's going to go for Electric Move, so I might just swap you. And choice into a Wicked Blow, right? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Wicked Blow is going to be our best choice move. Um, I might just, uh, swap you. So we can be able to eat. He's definitely going for like a, a Thunderbolt or something along those lines to get after my uh, Tornadus. We're going to swap Tornadus early on here and see how this one plays out. We got to get rid of this Regilecki, but I think a Spore might be coming in hot. Nope, it's just a Rage Powder. It's just a lovely little Rage Powder. So there's that. Let's see what this Regilecki goes for. He goes for the E-Web, which is totally fine. Regilecki does avoid the attack. I dig that a lot. That's huge for us. And Urshifu is able to eat it up decently well, which is big. It's pretty big for us. Wicked Blow comes through. It is Choice Bandit. It is Stab. It's Guaranteed Crit. Let's see how much damage we can do to this thing. A decent amount. A decent amount. That wasn't bad. Okay. But now we have to go into a Wicked Blow and... Do I just Volt Switch from here? 
But I would love to be able to take out this, uh... I would love to be able to take out this Amoongus. That would be huge if we can, with a Bolt Switch. Let's just see how this one plays out. Because I can definitely see him going for another ra Rage Powder. And if he doesn't, then our, uh, our uh, Urshifu will take out Regilecki in one shot. Let's just see. Protect comes out from Amoongus. Okay, so smart cookie play there. He just protects him up. Volt Switch is going to pop through. And that gets blocked. And what is his Regilecki going to go for? A Volt Switch. So he's going to be able to take out my Urshifu, no problem. That's a nice little move by him. And he just picks up a KO. It's a nice little move by him. I should have probably doubled down to the Regilecki. Probably should have done that, but he made the right call. Back going into Protect. Probably should have swapped it. I should have probably went for a Volt Switch onto the other slot. And knowing that Urshifu can hit through Protect, go in onto the... Uh, What's it called? The Moongus? But now I feel like I can bring out Kyogre for free. Right? Because he doesn't have Regilecki on the field. Now I think I can bring out Kyogre for free. Or at least bring out, uh, what's it called? Actually, we get to see who he goes out into first. So this is good for us. Or I could bring out Tornadus. Let's see. Make a move, dude. Make a move. I think that Volt Switch was bad on his end. Now I get the read. I can see who he has out here. And Intimidate won't come out here until I switch. So we have special attackers. We're totally fine. Oh, it actually comes out now. I'm cool with that. So we just have Fake Out Ready to Rock. Let's have Fake Out Ready to Rock. So I am going to go into Kyogre. And I'm going to protect Kyogre because I can definitely see the Fake Out coming from the Incineroar slot. Or do I just take this Fake Out? Just in case he swaps. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I think we take this fake out because we're going to need to protect next next turn. We're going to go there and I'm just going to go for a thunder because it's 100%. And we're going to try to get after this Regilecki, or not Regilecki, this Amoongus and take it out. So let's see. Let's see. it. Make a move, my guy. Make a move. As long as we can get rid of this Regilecki, we could be fine. That is my problem. As much as I want to go into protect, I just cannot. Just in case the Regilecki comes out next turn, I can protect and E-Web and slow it down and go from there. Let's see, there's the fake out. That's totally fine. And yo, I'm digging that turn a lot. Good thing I went to the water spot. I think he thought I was going to protect. Did not protect, and we should be able to pick up an easy double kill here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Get both these guys out of my face. We're rolling strong now. So we have Regilecki and one final Mon. We have our Kyogre, Regilecki, and Tornados, which is tough. Which is tough because the Regilecki checks two of the Pokemon that we have out in this field. So now I'm thinking I have to go into a protect and an e -web. That's a must. It's a must, right? And this thing could go into a Geomance. That could be so tough for us. That could be so tough. But I need to slow it down. I need to go for protect. And I need to slow down both these guys. Let's go protect. And go for a C-Web. It's a must. We have to take speed control here. And this is one of the only ways. Unless he just takes out my Regilecki. That'd be fine because then we can Tailwind. But we at least should be able to get off at least one Tailwind. Right? Or not one Tailwind. One e -web. I believe so. Let's see my dudes play. Let's see my dudes play. Actually, our best play of this game was going into that water spout instead of protecting. I thought a move in advance that I couldn't waste my protect because I'm going to need it later. And actually paid off because he was looking to read the protect and faked out my Regilecki and we just picked up the easy double KO. Now our protect comes out. We needed this thing. We needed this. Good thing we saved it. And does our E-Web come out first? It does. Beautiful. So our E-Web is going to come out here. Get the speed drop, which is dandy just dandy which means we should be able to get off another e-web and be able to get off a water spout and pretty much win us this game right as long as our regilecki outspeeds all right that's what we need unless this thing's going for a geomance with the power herb. let's see let's see what this exernius is actually doing he goes for a geomance okay that's tough news that is tough news i don't like it one bit i don't like it one bit not one bit Geomance comes out here in one turn, and what does it give? Does it give speed? What does it do again? Let me see it. Special attack, special defense, and speed. That's tough news. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to go into the Scald here. Get rid of you, and just E-Web again. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play. Hopefully my Regilecki outspeeds everybody. This one's going to be so tough for us. It's going to be so tough for us. Gleam comes through. Mmm. Mmm. Regilecki does not. He goes down. He goes down. And Thunderbolt comes in here. And that is going to clean up this battle, yo. Geomance was the one and only thing that can win this guy the match. And he ends up pulling it off. So GG's that guy. Making the right move. 
making the right call at the right time, and he's going to end up picking up this W because Regilecki is going to be able to outspeed my Tornadus, and he's just going to be able to dump on it in one shot. Because all I needed to do was get off another E-Web to slow him down, but then he got that big old speed boost. He got that huge speed boost. Maybe I can land a Hurricane. Maybe we can take out Regilecki and roll from there, but I don't see it happening. He is minus one, so let's just see. Moonblast comes through. Eat it up. Eat up. Say, yo, that's Tasty Snack. Jeez, man, that thing is powerful when it's set up, but... There we go. Battle number two is over. We're one and one. Let's hop into our third and final and look for that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Zygarde team. That is something I always love when new series come out. It's just the variety of Pokemon we are seeing. So that's going to be fun. It's a little bit of a change up on the scene. He has the Zygarde, the Tapu Fini, Galarian Articuno, Latias for Tailwind, My Shout for Fake Out, and nice little lead there, and Rotom Wash as his final Pokemon. Okay, I can totally lead Kyogre here, right? I could totally lead Kyogre and just protect him. Mm, fake Out is just always a problem now. Actually, I could go Kyogre and Invidi, so Fake Out, we can check that. I'm totally with that all day. Let's go in with these two and rock out the battle from there. We're going to bring Urshfu, and then I think we're just going to bring Kartana as our final mod for the back end and try to rock out from there. Yeah, so Fake Out, we don't even have to worry about it with the Psychic Seeds. We don't even have to worry about it. And he cannot change up weather, which is awesome, which is just dandy. He could go for a Tailwind. That could definitely be a play. And if he does, I might just helping hand and uh, get after this guy. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Which I think he's going to lead. I think he's going to lead the Latias and try to get after it that way. Could be Sash on one of these guys. Let's see. My Shao and Rotom. My Shao and Rotom. Okay. So I think I'm just going to follow me and drop a nice heavy little... Uh, nice heavy little water spout. That might be our play. See how much damage we can do onto this, uh, this Rotom. Because Rotom is posing a threat. And I doubt he's rocking E-Web. I think he's rocking Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump, and then like Nasty Plot and Protect. But our seeds are getting popping here. Gotta love it. Got to love it. And we're gonna go for a nice lovely little water spout. And go into a follow me here. Follow me is 1000% the player. Depending on what move he uses, I might just... Uh, oh, he's gonna go for a... Wow. Wow, he's gonna go for a wide guard. What a turn. What a turn. What a turn. What a play. I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to him. Wide guard. That is dope. That is dope. He uses wide guard and he sets up this buttery biscuit Pokemon. Okay, I see you. Best part about this is he cannot Dynamax, <laughs> which we gotta love. We gotta love. Uh, I could drop a Scald. I could drop an Ice Beam. I could do either or. I think we're gonna have to drop a Scald on you. Actually, let's see if we can. how much damage we can do onto uh, Rotom here. Scald over onto the Rotom. Uh, do I follow me again? Yeah, I'm going to have to follow me, right? I'm going to have to be the play. I'm going to go for another wide guard. He does not, yo. We could have just went into a water spell on this turn. Let's see how, how this one plays out. High jump kick's going to fly through. Indeed, he should be able to eat that one up all day, right? Yep. And then the Scald is going to be able to fly through. And how much damage are we going to be able to do on this turn? A good amount. And it's nice to know that we do outspeed. Oh, we get a crit, yo. That's lovely. That's lovely. His Citrus Berry does come out here. And I think another Scald, even without a crit, will be able to take this thing out all day. Let's see. He goes for Thunderbolt, and Indeedee is going to drop. So we know we have speed up against the, uh... Up against the Rotom, which is huge. And now I can just bring out Urshfu if I really want to. Or I could just go Kartana. I think Kartana is going to be playable. Let me check the speed real quick. Check speeds. 177, 163. Okay, so Kartana would be fastest on the field. Which I love, because then I can go into a Leaf Blade, pick up the KO, and get a Beast Boost from there. And I could drop a Water Spout, but I think Scald is going to be the play here. Just to check that Wide Guard. So we're just going to Scald over on you. Probably bring that thing down to the Focus Ash, and just dump on that thing with a Leaf Blade. But that is my play. Maybe he'll go for a Wide Guard. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe he's trying to make the hard read, but there's really no point. There's really no point in going into the Wide Guard. Let's see what happens here. Alex Switch is going to come through here, and okay, I'm kind of, I'm with that, I'm with that turn, I don't mind it, but I think a Scald will still be able to take this thing out, we'll see, there goes a nice lovely little Leaf Blade, bring that thing down to the red, and Scald's going to fly through here and pick up the KO, maybe, hopefully, oh, you buttery biscuit, come on, man, we get the burn, though, so he's dead next turn, he is going to be able to take out my Kyogre, though, which is huge, he's going to be able to take out my Kyogre, it's a huge turn for him, he's going to be able to roll out strong. The battle is not over yet, because Rotom is going to drop here, right? Yeah, Rotom drops. Dang, dude, that Alex switch really clutching up. But it's all good. We have our Kartana here. We have Urshfu here with Sucker Punch. 
And I wonder who's faster. My Kartana or this My Shell? I might just sucker punch onto the My Shell. And choice into that. Zygarde is going to pop. Zygarde is looking scary. Such a good mod. Um, I could go sucker punch, but I really don't want to. I really don't want a choice to a sucker punch here. And I could. I could choice to a sucker punch, because sucker punch will pick up a KO. And I could just go for a leaf blade. I'm not going to choice to that sucker punch. I'm going to choice to that wicked blow. And I'm just going to leaf blade up onto you. That's our play. Let's rock it. Let's get after it. See what happens here. Leaf Blade comes out. I could have went after you and picked up the Beast Boost. That would have been huge. But big damage on that. This Wicked Blow. Do we outspeed with our Urshifu? We do. Okay, so that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So we outspeed. We get rid of this My Shell. We probably should have went separate. So I would have got the Beast Boost and did the damage onto the uh, Zygarde. But I'm fine with that. Let's see this dude's turn. He's going to go for a thousand arrows. So that's going to hit both of us. And that's a ground move, I believe. So that's easy eats for the boys. And I can go into what's gone. We're just going to power construct. That's a problem. That's a huge problem for us. <laughs> That's a huge problem. We might have to double down on them. The power truck comes out here. This thing gets enormous and its HP goes through the roof. Goes through the roof. So I'm thinking of doubling down into that thing. And he probably just got better too, considering there's no Dynamax to really get rid of him. But he's going to end up going Lottie Ass, which he's probably going to tail in with, right? It could bring it, th I think, down to a Sash, but I think we have to double down into this Pokemon, right? I think we have to double down into the Zygarde. Because I'm thinking this thing's rocking Sash. Oh, no, he's just going to help in hand. We outspeed, so maybe we can pick up the KO with uh, both these hits here. Leaf Blade comes through. Bring it down low. This thing is a tank. He's a tank. Let's see how Wicked Blow does. Wicked Blow, do him dirty. Wrap it up. You got Choice Band. You got a bunch of damage coming through here. Take him out. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Double down into that at the perfect time. And we should be able to pick up the win easily here. We should be able to pick up this easy win right here. Which is dope. Which is dope. Because we have Wicked Blow, Stab, and Choice Band coming in hot on that thing. And we have Nice Slash for our coverage move over onto the Kartana. So I'm digging it. I'm digging these dark moves right here. Wicked Blow and Night Slash. Get after it. Take this Pokemon out. Let's grab ourselves a winning record using this Kyogre team. He cancels the battle. Let's go. Series 10 just made Kyogre 10 times better in my opinion. You guys saw in that first battle, we were able to absolutely dominate and just wipe out a team. No problem with that Pokemon. I feel like the only way to stop Kyogre is having a Reg Lecky on your team or some sort of electric type. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.